Hello and welcome to another video. For those of you new here, my name is Kian. I just finished my first year of medical school and I am starting a new video series titled Advice for Pre-Meds. In these videos, I will be hopefully providing short answers to commonly asked questions. There's going to be five videos in this series and I will be releasing one video every week for the next five weeks. So if you want to be notified when a new video is available, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button icon. The topics of these videos are going to be the following. GPA, MCAT, extracurriculars, research, and degree. So let's get started. All right, so this video is all about extracurriculars. I will be dividing the video into three parts. The first part will be talking about extracurricular characteristics that make them more relevant to the medical school application. Second part will be how to write about these extracurriculars in order to shine as a strong candidate. And third part will be mistakes to avoid. So part one, characteristics of extracurriculars that can make them more relevant to your application. You want your extracurriculars to be one of the following, either medically relevant, academically relevant, related to community service, or show a long-term commitment with high quality deliverables. In terms of medically relevant extracurriculars, there's various volunteering you can do. So you could volunteer as a person in a hospital who visits with patients or plays games with patients and interacts with them, or you could volunteer at various charity events that are fundraising for a disease or a certain medical problem. Some examples could be kidney transplants, ALS, MS, or cancer. In terms of academically relevant extracurriculars, medical schools are always looking for people that are engaged in their academic community. So things that you could do here is be involved in or run clubs related to subjects of your interest. This could be genetics, biology, chemistry, physics, it can be really anything that you're interested in. Um, other things you could do is volunteer in a lab or volunteer as a research assistant. These are also very academically driven things you can do outside of school. Third part is community service. So any sort of volunteer work that is creating a better environment around you or helping serve individuals who are underserved in the community is going to be looked on very favorably by the medical school admissions team. The last category that you could put your extracurriculars under would be high achievement or personal endeavor. So a lot of things that fall under this category are hobbies that you've done for a long time. This could include sports, music, or drama. And as long as you have committed to this for a long time and achieved measurable results, this can be put on your application and it can help make it look really strong. So an example of a long-term achievement could be achieving a black belt in judo. It's kind of known all around that in order to get this black belt in judo, you have to put in a ton of work, you have to be very committed, and you also have to be skilled. So obviously your extracurriculars don't need to fall under those four categories, but if you're trying to work on that part of yourself for your application, I would really consider choosing something that fits well under those four categories because those are really the sorts of things that medical school admissions are going to be looking for. That being said, you can often twist things and write about things so that they fit under these certain categories. For example, um, a less conventional thing that I put on my application was that I run half marathons. Obviously, that's not making the community a better place, it's not related to medicine, it's not academic, but it shows perseverance. It shows mental and physical perseverance because that is a long distance to run, you have to be in shape, and you have to be committed, so that shows that I can take on a challenge and really thrive. How to write about your extracurriculars is the second part of this video, and this is almost as important, if not more important, than the extracurriculars themselves. Things you want to highlight when you're writing is how you were a leader, how you took on responsibilities, how you faced challenges, how you have had long-term commitments, and how this will impact you as a future physician. 
So an example of a poorly written statement for, let's say, volunteering at the hospital could be, I volunteered at the hospital once a week and I visited with patients, I showed up on time and I was a good team member. That really doesn't say much about your roles and responsibilities and it doesn't make the medical admissions team think that you're a strong candidate. Even doing the exact same extracurricular, you could word it completely differently. So for example, you could say, I have had a long-term commitment to volunteering in the hospital over the past four and a half years. During this time, I've had the opportunity to interact with patients, I have formed personal connections, and I've also learned about the challenges of being a patient in the hospital, as well as these individuals' personal health care goals. This will be helpful to me as a future physician because I can structure my care in order to meet some of these health care goals that were expressed to me in confidence when I was a volunteer at the hospital. So the last section of this video is mistakes to avoid. I think the biggest mistake to avoid is to do a superficial dabbling in a lot of volunteer work and not really be committed long term. The reason for this is it becomes very obvious. On your application they're going to ask what you did but they're also going to ask for how long you did it and how many hours. If you have an hour at the soup kitchen, an hour at the hospital, an hour coaching, an hour volunteering for this one event, it is just so obvious that you're trying to have like 50 volunteer things on your application but you weren't really committed, you didn't have any self-growth, you didn't have any longevity, and it also comes across that these volunteer opportunities were kind of meaningless to you. So it's challenging if you don't have any volunteer work, but my advice would be pick multiple things, maybe three or four things, that you can do on a weekly basis for a long period of time. because longevity is just so important in showing that you are authentic about your intentions and that you're actually committed to whatever volunteer work or extracurricular that you were involved in. Anyways, that is all the advice I have for extracurricular activities. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.